Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, this is Dave Lockwood. I'm going to start a series of videos on basic fingerboard knowledge. Hopefully I'll unlock a secret or two for you if you've done a little bit of this stuff already. So we're going to start from the beginning of course. Where else are you going to start? Uh, so we're going to start with uh, some basic theory. Uh, so we're talking about the natural notes. So the natural notes of course are just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right? And then it wraps around A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right? Uh, so w when you consider the natural notes, you're going to have a sequence of either whole steps or half steps. And there's far more whole steps than half steps, so we're going to start with the half steps. If you could memorize where the half steps are, everything just falls into place. Okay, so the half steps on the guitar, on the piano, on any instrument, are between E to F and B to C. So E to F and B to C are half steps. And on the guitar, a half step is one fret. A whole step is two frets, of course, right? So everything else besides E and F, E to F, and B to C are whole steps. Okay, so A to B is a whole step, B to C is a half step, C to D is a whole step, D to E, whole step, E to F, half step, that's the other half step, F to G, whole step, G to A, whole step. Okay? So it's, it's not as tough as you might think it might be to memorize that, so we're going to go and play the natural notes up and down one string. And usually, uh, when I teach students locally here in Atlanta, by the time we get up to you know, around the 12th fret, the light goes on and people you know, kind of get it at that point. All right, so we're going to start on the E string, right there, and we're going to go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So E to F, is that a half step or a whole step? It's a half step. Remember, E to F, B to C. Those are the two half steps. If you can just remember that, everything else kind of falls into place because everything else is a whole step. So E to F. So we land on the first fret because we're just adding one fret, one half step, right? So sometimes it's a little confusing for people because they, they don't know where to go from the open string. And one way to kind of visualize that to make it better, make it easier for you to understand, is that if you consider the open string kind of like the zero fret, you can kind of imagine that you're playing a fret back here. Okay, so when you add one fret, of course you land on the first fret. So E, F, right? So then we're going F to G. Uh, don't overthink it. We're just going in alphabetical order here. So F to G, that's going to be a whole step. Why? Because it's not E to F and it's not B to C. That's simple. All right, so F to G, whole step. So we're going to add two frets to the first fret, brings us to the third fret. See, I'm on my first dot there. All right, so now, of course, in the music alphabet compared to your regular alphabet, uh, we don't go all the way up to Z. We end at G and then we, well, we basically wrap around and start over again at A. So G is going to A. And again, not B to C or E to F. So it's a whole step. G to A uh, is a whole step. So the G is on the third fret, so we're going to add two frets. And we're going to end up on A, on the fifth fret. Okay, so A to B, that is also a whole step. All right, so five plus two is seven. So B to C, B to C is one of the two whole, um, sorry, half steps. So B to C, 7th uh, fret plus 1 fret, 8th fret. There's your C. All right, C to D, whole step, 8 plus 2. And you can kind of look at my dots and tell where we are. So I'm on the 12th fret here and the double dots and the 9th fret. So I'm on the 10th fret there, 10th fret D. Okay, so D to E, that's going to be a whole step. All right, because it's uh, not one of the two half steps, E to F or B to C. Okay, so we're gonna we're on the tenth fret, so we're gonna add two frets. Ten plus two is twelve. All right, so that's how you work out the notes on each string. So you want to be able to get get to be able to do that very quickly without thinking about it too much. So that might take a little bit of practice. Uh, so you want to be able to go E F G A B C D E. So at first you want to think it through. All right, what is my next note? Is that E to F or B to C? No, it's going to be a whole step. Or yes, and then it's going to be one fret, a half step. Okay, it's, it's pretty simple once you kind of get a little practice with it. So let's do it on the second string. Second string is B. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to go B, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, A, B on the second string. The same process that we did on the E string. The only difference being is that we're starting on B instead of E. All right, so B goes to C. That's one of our half steps. So think of the zero fret concept 
that I mentioned before. So B goes to C, half step, C to D, whole step, D to E, whole step, E to F, one of the half steps, F to G, whole step, G to A, whole step, A to B, whole step, I'm on the 12th fret there, and then B to C, that's one of the other half steps. So I'm going from the 12th fret to the 13th fret. Okay, so to, to get comfortable with this information, you want to do this uh, on a couple strings each day. So that's what you want to start out with. But once you get comfortable with it, you'll be able to go through all six strings without a problem. And that's what you want to be able to do. You want to be able to kind of run through this stuff ultimately. You may not be able to do that in the first day or two, but you want to be able to B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Because if you could do that, any other kind of guitar information, you will assimilate that much quicker. Okay, so like I said, you want to go through all six strings eventually. At first, you want to start on like a string or two and do that each day. And one thing uh, I, I might have skipped over, if you're at the beginning, beginning, you may not know the open strings, right? So we just did, did this process on the E string and the B string. And the other thing you want to know uh, about, about the strings is that it's, it's E. I'm starting on the big fat sixth string down here. Sixth string E. 5th string A, 4th string D, 3rd string G, 2nd string B, and 1st string E. A couple tricks to memorize that. Uh, so here's two of them. So you've got elephants and donkeys grow big ears. That's kind of a cute one, I guess, right? So E, A, D, G, B, E, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Uh, or for the uh, more aggressive inclined among us, amongst us, we've got Eddie ain't dynamite, goodbye Eddie. Okay, so it comes out to the same thing, of course. E, A, D, D, uh, G, B, E. I'll try the, uh, do that again because I messed it up. E, A, D, G, B, E, Eddie ain't dynamite, goodbye Eddie. So take your pick of those two. Uh, to help you memorize the open strings. So we're memorizing the open strings and we're figuring out how to find the notes, the natural notes. Uh, natural notes are, are the notes without any sharps or flats or anything fancy. Uh, so just the regular notes, I guess you could say. Uh, so we're, we're figuring out how to find those on, on each string. So that's the, the first video. So stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you, uh, you review this one before you go to the next one because it's going to build on itself. So thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you in the next video.